Hey there folks, happy Valentine's Day. I am here today to bring you my 100th DS battle. My opponent is Monk Sheep, and this is an NU battle, and I am using my newly redone Val team, appropriate for Valentine's Day. Anyway, uh, NU battle, my opponent leads off with Mesprit, and I lead off with Armaldo. I get paralyzed, but I don't really care, except for the fact that I get fully paralyzed. I was going to set up rocks, it would have been awesome. Uh, but that darn full paralysis. Anyway, out is going to come his, uh, what, what is that thing called? Ursa Ring. And it, it's obviously a gut set. He goes ahead and goes for the Swords Dance, and I'm thinking, okay, not a good thing. And I get fully paralyzed again. I was just thinking, these guys are pretty frail. Maybe I can do some damage. Here he goes for the Facade. I'm thinking, if that's the worst you can do to me, I'm actually doing okay. Here I go for the Stone Edge. I do a whole lot of damage, but not as much as I was hoping. And seeing at how much damage uh, he's at, I really want to keep... Um, my uh, Armaldo around, so I send out Lemon, my Stun Fisk, which unfortunately doesn't gets to do nothing but act as Death Fodder. Uh, I was really hoping it would survive because it's so damn bulky, but no luck. So anyway, uh, on the blind switch, I send out Yankee Doodle, my Jump Fluff, and this is uh, one of the annoying sets, and I just put it to sleep, and as he withdraws his Mesprit, he goes out into Vile Plume, I go for the sub, and uh, recover some health with sub. This is the, the sub leech set, uh, aromatherapy set. It has no attacking moves. Um, so basically, yeah, I cure Felix of Paralysis, which will be nice basically, because there will be no para hacks. But Felix is really slow anyway. Felix is my Armaldo, by the way. Um, Vile Plume, uh, this is excellent. Vile Plume went for the aromatherapy as well, which means I can now put Vile Plume to sleep. And there's nothing worse uh, than a cleric that's been put to sleep. It's just amazing for me. Uh, so that's one turn of sleep. That's excellent. He goes ahead and withdraws, goes out into Mesprit, so I know that when uh, he comes back out, he'll be asleep for at least one turn. Always good to know. Um, I would want to switch out here because I go for the Earthquake. I'm locked in. This is a Scarf set. Anyway, that's going to come Kenyon, my Skuntank, who, if you remember from way, way, way back in my PBR days, I actually used to run a Skuntank on my uh, PBR OU team. Um, but haven't run it since. Anyway, I'm going for the Pursuit just thinking that he'd switch out. I think I'm actually going to take out Pursuit and put in, um, Crunch instead. Or maybe I'll take out Sucker Punch and put in Crunch. No, I think I like Sucker Punch. But anyway, uh, so he's down to practically no HP. And assuming he can't spin away those rocks, uh, next time Esper comes out, it's going to be dead. Vile Plume is out here, and that's okay for me. Uh, be oh, I get fully paralyzed. I was thinking Fire Blast the face will probably kill it, um, because I'm running this really weird maximum attacking set, 252 attack, 252 special attack, brave nature. Anyway, uh, I mean, it does an okay amount of damage. It's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, I'm, he's going to go ahead and withdraw. Uh, Alex going to come Mesprit again. Uh, it's going to die to the rocks, and that's excellent, because if I send out Armaldo and spin away the rocks, then he can't set them back up. Anyway, fearing uh, an earthquake from this guy, go out into Yankee Doodle, just hope he doesn't go for the uh, close combat. He didn't, and that's excellent, so now he's going to have to withdraw because he's locked in. He looks like he's scarfed, and now it's going to come his, fu uh, sorry, Furuhiro, uh, his Cryogonal. I like the old name better. Um, <laughs> by the way, great nickname. It looks exactly like him. So now this is going to be okay for, I'm going to actually have to switch out. I'm predicting him to uh, rapid spin, and indeed he does, but now I'm hoping that I scare him away. I'm not, I mean, I should be faster because I am scarfed, and this looks like it's one of the bulkier sets. Anyway, go for this, go for a superpower here, not expecting the switch into Vile Plume. I don't think I can KO after it with another hit, thanks to my attack drop, so I'm going to have to call back Starlicker, my Embor, and go out into Felix, but I know he's going to stay asleep for at least another turn, so I'm like, okay, just stay in. Um, go for the Excisor, take him out. Uh, no, I go for the Stealth Rock because I want the Stealth Rock up. I don't want him switching willy-nilly. And he stays asleep again, so this is excellent for me. And uh, I am go for the Excisor just to get the KO. Uh, but he actually survives on, like, no HP at all. So, was really surprised there. Go for another Excisor. Yeah, he looks like he got the maximum sleep turns. So, bad bit of hacks, but, you know, it happens. Uh, anyway, I just was hoping that I could take a hit from him. I thought it was a rock type move or one of his attacks would miss. Hydro Pump doesn't miss, and that's really too bad. Uh, I'm going to be faster, so uh, the switch out into this guy is pretty obvious. I go for the sub, and here I'm thinking, okay, just put it to sleep, leech seat up, and you know, eventually I'll be whittling this guy down. My I, my sleep powder misses, which is so freaking lame. Uh, but oh well, you know, it, it happens. So recover a bit of health. Uh, go for the sleep powder again. It puts him to sleep. I'm like, yes. Now I get a free. I'm gonna be able to get a free sub next uh, next turn. And I'm hoping he's gonna stay asleep. So go for the sub, 
Uh, he's going to wake up, go for the ice beam. I'm like, no, no, damn it. So now I've got no other choice. I've got to go for the, another sleep powder and just hope that it hits. It's got 70% accuracy, and it misses. So he got an outrageous bit of hacks there. Two sleep powder misses, and then one first turn wake up. That is just lame, but oh well. I go out into Starlooker, and I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz. Going to take him out, and that's going to be great. But I am not liking my odds right now, uh, based on the fact that he's still got his sock, and I've lost my primary counter to sock. His sock is definitely scarfed, outruns, and KOs with Earthquake. Uh, I'm hoping that Kyoko can take one. Kyoko is my um, Glaceon, who you might remember from a uh, Gen 4 team of mine. It is Spexed, and that did a whole lot of damage. Focus Blast misses! And so I get a little bit of the hacks back to me, so that's great. I take him out. He's down to his last Pokemon, which is uh, that sock, and now he's going to take out my Kyoko, and I'm just... I do the calcs here, and basically if he's adamant, I have a slim chance of surviving, but a really, really poor chance. If he's jolly, then I might survive a little bit more. I survived with 16! I'm like, yes! I believe that was max damage, by the way. So I don't get Parahax, I take him out with a sludge bomb, and that is good game. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.